welcome to Brain Linker. I am Vishnu Narayan Pura. In this tutorial series, I am going to discuss about one of the most popular programming language, Java. So, what comes in your mind when you heard word Java? A coffee? This is only for the coffee addicts or a programming language. In this tutorial series, I am only going to discuss about the programming language. As you can see, 3 billion devices run Java. History As of 2016, Java is one of the most popular programming language in use, particularly for client server web applications with reported 9 million developers. Java was originally developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystem and released in 1995 as a core component of Sun Microsystems Java platform. The Java has been acquired by Oracle Corporation from the Sun Microsystem. The language derives much of its syntax from C and C++. Java was originally designed for interactive television but it was too advanced for the digital cable television industry at the time. The language was initially called oak after an oak tree that stood outside Gosling's office. Later, the project went by the name Green and was finally renamed Java. The latest version of Java is Java 9, released on September 21, 2017. Now, the question comes in mind, why do we need Java or why Java is developed? Primary motivation to develop Java was the need for a platform independent language that could be used to create software to be embedded in various consumer electronic devices such as microwave ovens and remote controls. As you can probably guess, many different types of CPUs are used as controllers. The trouble with C and C++ is that they are designed to be compiled for a specific target. Second major aspect is World Wide Web. As millions of devices are connected with internet and running your code, these devices run on any platform like Windows, Linux, Mac. It is not desirable to have different version of code for different platform. So portability is what we need. Again, the question arrives that how Java provides portability? The reason for it is bytecode. The output of Java compiler is not an executable code, rather it is bytecode. Bytecode is a highly optimized set of instructions which are executed by JVM, Java Virtual Machine. Don't panic if you doesn't understand how it is portable. In the later video, I am going to discuss about it in detail and also about some basic structure of Java program by an example. Until then, this is Vishnu Radhanpura signing off. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.